to have people look at trash that they could see potentially every day and kind of have to look twice at how it's not only blended into an environment that could potentially relate to their own home community, but also see themselves and their habits reflected into the trash itself. I'm Mariah Reading. I'm a landscape painter and eco-artist, uh, and I paint on trash. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm constantly in awe of the landscapes that I get to live in and visit. You know, the reasons that we take trips is to, you know, seek out beauty and to find that inspiration. Breathing hard at sweaty hands. I love paddling, especially in northern Minnesota. Uh, it's kind of the, the best way to access a lot of these areas is just by paddling and I think it offers a really intimate view into these waterways. You know, you're right there on the surface level. Kind of grasping the beauty of these places as they are being threatened, I think is kind of the duty of me as an environmental eco-artist, um, trying to find, find ways to, to preserve these landscapes so they can continue to thrive. I love hiking and backpacking, so I bring a little art kit with me uh, as I hike. So if the weather is positive um, for painting, if I find a piece of trash on the ground, I'll find a perch right near where that piece was found, and then just try to hold it up to kind of have that um, optical illusion almost is what I'm trying to get. I definitely think there are uses for things after you think there aren't. Just starting to see the world in a different way is, is an important part of my work and I guess part of the message that I'm starting to spread that you can get creative with how you use things. I think one of the main goals of my work isn't to have people like paint the same way that I do but maybe to kind of feel inspired to make small habits in their own lives to be more sustainable. I love sharing these experiences with family and friends and I don't know what my next piece is gonna be, but I'm excited to see.